Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey into the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time to attack yet another Pandoran Lair because these little buggers need to be rooted out and the only way to do that is eliminating the spawnery and neutralize the lair. I figured uh, we have the right team to do that, but I figured also we might want to get uh, the incendiary grenades um, if we do have them let me see if i do have them on anyone the answer is yes it was on steven here we got an incendiary grenade now i want to see if the spawnery could be just put on fire um question is is steven the right person to do that i see nothing that would suggest otherwise would be nice to have that f uh, f uh, fuel launcher anyway so we do have a lot of weapons here is there anything that we would need Asian cow really only has that pistol. I don't like it. Just give him that and hope he can hit the spawnery from afar. So pistol in this case fine with the right uh, sniper rifle those missions usually take a lot of med kits okay so far I am content with what I'm seeing. Could use another turret, but that's wishful thinking. That'll come in the near future, but not right now. Now we deploy the squad. Good, we landed. Let's take a look here. So. The exit is here. Already spotted out where the spawn is at. And we can see quite a bit actually. There is also an exit up here. So I wonder, can we maybe move to over here? Shoot the spawnery. Ah. Uh, it's much better to actually get there and then get out. Well, first things first. Everyone gets frenzied. We got a siren and a ranged damage dealer. And I think for now we just need to really clean up the side of the map and Come then take it from here. Uh, let's use our berserkers first. Asian cow starts and I want that removed yeah. and whilst we're at it remove it On all the together
Interesting, we could hit the spawn reef from back here. That's indeed interesting. So, hmm. Very weak offensive weapons. back what's our move in Vinci five by five almost got them down here we go move up <clears throat> that reduces our problem completely oh wrong weapon I wanted to just use a single shot well too bad let's do this incoming okay well Can kill this guy Ready to straight up. Gotcha. This better and work. then we need to deal with the siren next turn. Enemy killed. What's our move? So yeah, removing I'll keep my eyes open. that huge Ready. uh mm, that huge uh mm, Five by five. Who throw her there? That was that was a massive first turn. Okay, but we can't let that dazing continue. And as per the usual, we're being slightly overrun. Miss. Almost. Look at you. Receiving loud and clear. Comes online. Incy Vinci kills him straight up. No questions asked. Just get it over with. Good. Shield gone. And we're ready to hit these guys. Uh, 
Steven moves up. Not a lot of damage, that's my main concern with that weapon. Here. I'm ready. No, 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 we don't want to wake this guy up. Right there. We're rather moving over. Just get this over with. Good. Overwatch. Standing by. Heading out. Do we still have one shot? Well, we do. But our aim is really poor. Thanks to being dazed. People used to get paid for this. Control uh, reach is huge. I wasn't expecting that. We're good. Fortunately, can't reach. Can't reach the Viper. One, two, yeah. three, oh, and Still four, before then, we're watching in this direction. Target heading out. Oh, sure is the armor is quite relentless. Moving up. Yeah. It's hard to shoot like this. Uh, 
Dashing over here. And dashing closer because we need to kill the Viper. Moves into safety. And we're just going to control the action economy over here. Those two, those two action points. Here we go. Well, we got her mind control down. Let's start. We're likely going to take some melee damage. Yeah, not a surprise. If I'm entirely honest, I was expecting that. Moves to here, and everybody gets uh, the good old frenzy. Uh, standing by. Hope I don't miss. Good. Now, uh, name of the game is how to get that thing down fast. Must I neutralize? Vanessa's rushing up. I'm here. Recovering. Using this and we're moving up. Cool. Okay, so we want to make our way towards here, right? Right. It really means overwatching this, healing that. Staying near with everyone else. Um, end of turn. up free aims and that's a solid kill good those in the front Just a minute, use the time home. to recover those behind are moving up I want to go through here and then around the corner I 
definitely need <clears throat> to rest with our priest. Because we need him for continuous uh, frenzy. Currently we don't have that. Sprinting. Yeah, just staying together. Getting our sniper back. And there we go, end of turn. We don't want to go through here, so we're actually taking a left, or potentially shooting here and then going out. Okay, we gotta deal with this guy sooner than later, and it will come for now. As long as anyone's standing near us, they would get more willpower. Incivinci moves up, gets that extra willpower. Moving to position. Vanessa's actually taking the front. What's the plan? Shake it, baby. Shake it, baby? Whoa. You can shake it. Rolling. Justin moves up. And we're moving closer. The Inspire range I really would like. I hope that happens automatically. So I'm not seeing anything that I would need to activate. On the double. All right, moving over here. Yeah, not atypical, more enemies are coming. Double spawns here. Okay, and now I finally saw that there indeed is, um, there indeed is a regeneration happening. Still alive. So that should not have any return fire implications. Here, firing targets. It's super careful to get this guy down far enough so that we can kill him. Let's 
Okay. Stealing frenzy, by the way. And whilst we're doing that, let's already start moving forward. Everyone else will be a bit faster than us. Not a problem. Unfortunately, we can't really heal ourselves, so might as well take that second med kit into our hands. Kyle takes a couple Ten of shots open. here. Ready to fire. Target missed. Nope, that was not successful. Ready to roll. And look, at the end of the day, on the lookout. We're just going to Overwatch here. We'll need to find a way of dealing with these continuous intruders. Because they will be respawning over and over. Okay, well that's one option. Ah, that was not good. The spread is just too high. Large is his radius. Just barely in with Incy Vinci. Shibera moves to here. Just waits. What's our move? Target down. Now I don't want to miss with uh, that thing. Going in. Instead, what we're doing is we're starting to push forward. Moving up. Good. I'm just using him for the aura at this point. Right there. Staying just on the edge here and overwatching.
Rolling. And we can already use our first operators to get a little bit closer. That will point reduction is really unfortunate. Good, but we regained some war points. Unfortunately, we lost control of this guy. And unfortunately, times two. Both of our psionics need a break, but that's okay. Here. Yeah. This here might lead into him respawning, so I have to be careful with that. Preparing to fire. Yep, he's respawning. Channel open. Great. Here. Standing by. We need a war cry, that's a given. So else he's going to pick us apart. Here. Ah! This better work. Must stay calm, breathe. Overwatch, okay, cool. Or not, depends on your perspective of cool. All I need is a clear shot. Asian cow goes back. Uh, 20 hit points bleeding damn it we Reloading. need to reload Kyle's three actions. He's getting this guy down. Now he will also respawn, likely. Right? Can we somehow move? No, we cannot. Overwatch. Receiving. Proceeding. Double move. Anything that moves, dies. Moving now. Yeah, we're going to take two hits. I don't think that we can kill it fast enough. It really just respawned as is. Not much I could do here. Reload. Standing by. Oh, 
Okay, one. Continuing to move in the right direction. Two and three. Running. We need frenzy. Channel open. Ready to roll. Advancing. Good. Moving up. We're just waiting for now. Dashing. And end of turn. up that aura of Ready replenishment isn't bad Time Time nest. good so those two shots were helpful no more armor on the shield All right, NC moves up and hopefully teaches him a lesson. Saving. Loud and clear. Targeting. Attack Twenty is that going to kill him? No. It feels like everybody's just taking a couple of shots uh, to cover our retreat. Let's blast them. Moves up. And begins to hit the egg form. down right on target and another one down cool this could be one of those turns where everybody else is just like open. really really moving far I begin to appreciate the willpower regeneration more on those longer missions that means as long as you stay clustered which typically my team is doing you just regain more points so maybe i should consider for the first team to i'm here somehow also get that
Yeah, and then, I mean, that would make sense. The shield bearer, by the way, super far behind. Acquiring target. Nice. Okay, I think what we're yeah. going to do is this better work. Starting to make sure that reloading, receiving that we can get the spawnery down. On my way. Let's blast them. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. I'm ready. I think I got him some damage. Let's just get it over with. Good. Okay, well, no need to waste uh, the good old grenade here. I think it, it's fair to say that we have it solidly under control. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I can make a difference. I'm repositioning. Like target practice, and we're good. Yeah, he's not even fast enough to keep up with us. Luckily, that is. Everybody gets some frenzy, and we could have even moved faster. Good, unless something like completely crazy happens. We should be definitely out of here. even loot. Yeah, they've spotted the decoy. Moves in. you appreciate that extra loot and we're getting out of here see 
moving. Loud. Good. Luckily, we're so fast. They can't ki uh, catch up with us. Good, so back to the geoscape. That was an interesting mission, quick and dirty. Well, not so dirty, actually, just quick. Going in with eight people makes a difference. Cool, look at that. We got some bonus loot, Phoenix shotgun magazines, which I appreciate that we finally get them and everybody's happy. Consider the individual human being. So much processing capacity, so much knowledge, all wrapped up in flesh and bone, unique, inviolate, impossible to duplicate. We are remarkable, are we not? That is the source of our power and of my current headache. I need access to a specific individual. Only this individual has the knowledge and abilities I need. His name? is Ravi Chowdhury, a former computer technician at Pokhran 3. My records tell me that he used to work with members of your organization a long time ago. Excellent. I'm transmitting his coordinates as we speak. Good. Where is this Ravi launch codes? Extract Ravi Chowdhury. Okay, well, we can do that. The team here did a very venerable job in getting everything set up and ready. I wonder, do we have enough power left in the tank to go for another mission? I think the answer is generally yes, but we were a little bit short on just material. We could do this mission. I'm wondering, do we have all of the mat kits available? Because that for me is to determine whether or not we can go on. Well, so far it looks like we could go on for another mission. Might as well give it a try, right? So, Mendico 1 and Mendico 3 make their way over there. The Anagnostics of Niviev. Ni Nive? Yeah. Would like to ask our operatives some questions about their experience in the field. In exchange for the information, she's willing to share a copy of the book of the Inner Workings, a compilation of scientific insert uh, produced under the guidance of the Shadow Hierarch. Oh, yeah. Yes. Great. And who like us? And we got some research. Also. We traded in some much needed fabrics. Oh, look at that. We even got an extra base here. Oh, I wasn't aware of uh, that. So cool. So Phoenix Foxtrot, I call it.
bandits in Brazil. Sounds cooler in my perspective. We got a satellite uplink, satellite uplink. We got living quarters, even a training facility in here. Not bad. So once that's going online, we would have two bases even. Aren't they a little bit close to one another? Sometimes I don't understand uh, the, uh, the game where it offers you uh, like a free base here and I, I'm i just building up another one right next to it. That was in hindsight stupid, but how, how could I have known that this here would give me an entire base? Well, now it also makes sense that we raided the base, but that is like, it's actually cool that you, uh, that you are getting a free base out of it. It is very cool. We're going to get quite a bit of um, value out of the mist repellers down here as all of that will be repelled. I think the next base that we're opening out of pure necessity would be the one here, Phoenix Point Forward. That is a much better location because we have so much up in the red mist around here and just going back and forth here will help us there are still a scorpion and tomb of the mad sci uh, scientist i wonder we could yeah we could use our heliuses and fly there that definitely would be an option <laughs> Good, we're getting a lot of rewards here. Enemy strength is quite significant. And if we're looking at the Haven info, oh yeah, does not look good. Doing a quick trade before we go in. And we're still only at 79%. I was afraid that that would go down faster, but maybe all of our uh, defenses are turning out to be helpful in the end. We definitely need more materials, M much more materials. In terms of manufacturing, we got one tech ops uh, armor. This weapon here will be for our prime team. That one will be also for our prime team. And then we got the rest of the technicians. Still looking forward for the next tier mat. Yeah, and overall, I think we're okay. We could trade a little bit more in terms of manufacturing. We haven't really put anything in there yet, but the queue is super long, so no point clock it, clocking it further. Medical Bay healing at base is increased by 50% and 20 bonus healing in battle. That's great. Satellite uplink and the mutation technology is more important. We'll get the rest. Okay, wonderful. Madam Crossbow will be put on the back burner. For now, everything seems to be in order. The only thing not in order is 
uh, that you haven't clicked the like button yet, which I would kindly ask you to do. That way uh, the series will continue in good faith and uh, will continue to uh, hopefully get the traction on YouTube that it deserves. Thank you so much and have a good day.